Well, it has been a tiresome two weeks for the southern and Midwestern U.S. Dozens of tornadoes tore through different states. I mean, neighborhoods were destroyed, at least part of these neighborhoods, upending lives, it really just ruin in the wake of these storms. Now, field meteorologist and storm tractor, tracker Brett Adair has been keeping a close eye on all. He joins us now by the phone. Thank you so much for joining us. We do want to quickly ask you, now the pre-dawn tornado in Glen Allen, Missouri, unfortunately claimed the lives of at least five people as recovery efforts continue. What do you make of all the damage that you've been seeing uh, with the strength of this tornado? Well, you know, it's really been a rough two weeks. We've been dealing with killer tornadoes, it seems like, from last weekend to the Little Rock tornado last Friday and then to the Glen Allen tornado this morning. And unfortunately, we have seen a lot of lives lost, a lot of property damage, and, you know, just un unfortunate circumstances for many families in these areas. Uh, the, the one positive, I guess, that we can look at from this is now Hopefully we can clear some of this out for just a little bit because in communities like Rolling Fork, Mississippi, Silver City, Little Rock, Arkansas, Wynn, Arkansas, and then Glen Allen, Missouri, and some of the communities up in Iowa and Illinois even that have just been devastated by these powerful tornadoes, it looks like they might get a little bit of a break to try to get some of this recovery underway because down in Mississippi and Arkansas today, We've been dealing with a lot of rainfall, and some of that stuff is trying to push out to the south a little bit because they even even the rainfall has been hampering those recovery efforts in the area. So hopefully we're about to go through a little bit of a quieter period, but we are entering the most active period of spring as we have entered April. And unfortunately, we saw exactly what that can bring us here across the deep south. And, and we've seen it uh, for a couple of weeks, as Kelly had mentioned, Brett. I mean, as far as your journeys these past couple of weeks, you were in Wynn, you were in Little Rock, you were up in Iowa. I mean, you've been uh, throughout these areas that have had this at times extreme or high risk for severe weather. Uh, I'm sure it's been memorable. Are there any events that, that stick out to you? And, and I know when it comes to your job, I mean, you're a field meteorologist, but you also sometimes serve as that first responder. You're the first on a scene because you're you're tracking these uh, these tornadoes, some of which have been violent, EF4. You know, exactly. As you mentioned, that's the one thing that's been a bit different as of late. These tornadoes have really set their sights, even in the rural communities, on town, uh, the Rolling Fork tornado that was rated EF4, and, you know, they're still looking at some of the building structures out there to see if the wind speeds get increased a little bit. Uh, Rolling Fork, Silver City, that mowed right through those two small towns in Mississippi, rural Mississippi at that, and killed a ton of people. Um, and just like the Little Rock tornado on Friday, that thing touched down in West Little Rock at a very volatile time period there in the afternoon right around 2 30 p.m everyone getting off work luckily most of the kids were i guess away from school at that point but you know traffic was really heavy and we had one single fatality at this point at least in north little rock that you know that's amazing we don't want any lives lost at all but that's amazing that it went through a metro area at a peak time of travel and we saw one fatality and that's because the warning process, it worked. It's been so good as of late. And then last night, we talk about Glen Allen. Unfortunately, that storm raked that area in the middle of the night, two, three, four in the morning when most people are asleep and at their most vulnerable state. So, unfortunately, we've been seeing these killer-type tornadoes for the last couple of weeks. And, and I personally am ready and grateful that it looks like we're going to get a break from the action for at least a little bit here to try and recharge, let some of these recovery efforts get underway before we start seeing more of these volatile storm systems enter the picture. Yes, we'll take any break we certainly can get. Speaking about the Glen Allen, Missouri tornado, though, do you feel that the events that we've gone through over the last couple of weeks led to a sort of a hyper vigilance of the people living there, just making sure they're now on top of the severe weather risk every single day? You know, I think that's most definitely occurring at this point, especially the Storm Prediction Center has done a great job, and they highlighted Southern Missouri and Western and Northern Arkansas last night 
for the opportunity for there to be rare after midnight significant type tornadoes and they hit the nail on the head with that and also the vigilance of the national weather service offices there across portions of the boot hill and then arkansas that had the you know the, the ready the alerts ready for the watches and the warnings that went out as those storms struck you know everybody definitely has kind of been on pins and needles with the last couple of events because they've been so significant and we've seen such property loss and loss of life, it's going to be great for everybody to be able to kind of sit back now, catch a breath before we run into the next episode of severe weather, which hopefully won't be for about five to seven days. Yeah, we uh, we know we have a long way to go and the winter has been just as active uh, Brett Adair, I mean, perhaps not with the violence of tornadoes, which which we now see, but that's what sometimes this spring season brings. Enjoy the uh, the brief respite, I guess. Brett Adair, always good talking to you. Field meteorologist and storm tracker. Appreciate your time. Thanks, guys. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.